I'm surrounded by Libras who keep celebrating birthdays. Oh my so god! We gotta we gotta listen, talk about your birthday, your listen. your spring break, your spring no, break sh- birthday with I, all the wardrobe <laughs> changes. I can't even call them wardrobe changes because Mandy break. did not wear one full, fully like covered piece of clothing, <laughs> and and let all. her live her best life. And it was you know what it I mean? really I was at I was 13. jealous. I was really yeah, jealous. I, I, I mean, was jealous. I, I entered my thirties yesterday, uh, but celebrated all week. Went to Mocha Fest. I was also working. Yes, I did um, see out that. There. I did see that. So, uh, aside from celebrating my birthday, I was working. Uh, my other podcast, uh, Horrible Decisions, we had a live show, mm-hmm. which is the last one of 2020. Oh, um, so that was that was cool. I do want to kind of say, Mocha Fest is like a you know kind of a liberated event. Um, I kind of <laughs> sound like it's it. very liberated. Uh, but I, I will say, over the weekend, like I kept apologizing to my friend. And also myself felt completely uncomfortable. Uh, Why? The women. <laughs> and I, I'm not going to lie, I'm guilty of it too. I was reminded how I've done this to another woman. And I, I think it's something that we're not conscious of. But the touching, the grabbing, when we're in swimsuits, mm. we're in these environments, we know when men, we can push them away. But when the women were approaching, I didn't want to seem mean. Mm. A lot were fans. and But I was being harassed by women way more to my liking than I would have liked to. Wow. Damn. And I don't think, I think we have all these conversations about what to tell mm-hmm. men not to do. Right. But we don't allow each other that same space. And somehow those conversations need to start. I just think that some women mm-hmm. do a little much. Okay. And I know we don't want men to do it. Right. We don't want women to do it either. You know what so I mean? So when you say, when you say like you were being harassed, you're up on stage because you and you, you this and, was and all- your co-hosts were doing your live show. Yes. And you know, everybody's drinking, everybody's partying. It's, you know, it's all inclusive, which people, apparently people thought your cheeks were also included in that all inclusive. <laughs> <Right. laughs> totally, se- <laughs> totally separate fee. Nice try. Um, but in those moments, I mean, give me a scenario when, because I've, I've been in, I've been in situations like that too, just in general with fans at backstage at a show where where somebody is just like wants to touch you and is in your personal space. And for me, I'm I'm always, you know, I either have management or some or security or somebody with me to kind of be like, hey, that's enough, too close. I could be like, thank you so much. Right. I'm real good for it. Thank you so much with the, you know what I'm saying? The, but I, the, I don't think you realize on. either too, just like on this platform where you do have fans, you also know that your one interaction can be their view of right. you forever. Right. 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 And so sometimes saying no or sometimes putting pushing someone away, you also don't want to give off the vibe like, you know, you're yeah. nasty or but you're it's mean. Also, but it's also if other women are around and you're comfortable, you might actually, one woman that doesn't know you might see another woman that you know that you're cool with right. come up to you and do it and think that it's acceptable because Valid, she did it. Yeah. So it's like, all right, cool. Mandy, she with the shits. And it's right. like, mm, I don't really know you. You can't really touch me like that. My sorry. That's yeah, just how it is. I, I, I just would like them conversations we had and also just for us to be more aware of what we're get, what we're putting out. I agree. So you were you I mean? able to express yourself and say, you know, sis, you got to I'm not going to lie. That's why I brought it up on here. Because gotcha. I did not feel like I knew how to say it to a mm-hmm. woman without okay. offending her still. You know, with women, we be like, with men, we'll be like, ah, 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 ah. Real get quick. Get away real quick. But with women, eh, not, not so much. So, I mean, I, I mean, I still don't know really how to, uh, we just going to have to bring that as a conversation. Um, I'm glad that this was my last show of, of 2020. Yeah. Um, this was supposed to be a part of our tour that ended up getting canceled because of COVID. Um, I brought it up last week, but I did kind of want to bring it back because we are all women who have been on tour. Bring it back. (laughs) What was y'all's experience with touring? Because I mean, I I did bring it up. I had a whole lot of men and all the sitters hit me up and I was just like, oh, I got one here, got one there. And then even uh, who I was putting on the list. I had a few of them at the same time in certain cities. I mean, I was adding all my hoes onto the list, but I don't know. Like, you like multitasking, I see. You know. Yeah, she, I, loves, I, I, she loves I'm, a full I'm, plate. I'm noticing <laughs> you know, this Mandy, about Mandy, you. Mandy, Mandy, you, Mandy you likes enjoy, a lot of flavors. Yes, you enjoy multitasking I at do. any chance you get. But I'm, I'm learning also, you. I mean, I'm, I'm one learning. of those two that, like, when I was dating a, a plethora of men, mm-hmm. they knew that there was other ones. So, like, I would, I would honestly be, be honest with them. I don't think men give us that courtesy. <laughs> I'd have been to a few games where I noticed me and the same woman was rooting for the same player, and I was like, oh, word. So, Damn. <laughs> is this why I didn't get? He had the whole uh, to say. put both of y'all in the whole seat. And the you know, we, we were the whole to put them in the whole. You can't put both of your, <laughs> you can't put both of your joints in the whole seat. But men be bold. I Come let on. my hoes know when another one was gonna be there. I don't think men give us that courtesy. But oh. I mean, I was real with it. What was y'all like on tour? Did y'all like leave y'all's 
booze passes and stuff? Did y'all did y'all even interact like that? I never had work I, like that I on didn't, tour. If I'm no. being honest, I really didn't. Mainly because I was on tour with like the the R and B the auntie. It was an auntie tour, <laughs> not the auntie. Tour. Yes, I'm here for the aunties. Yes, I am an auntie myself. I love it. I'm here for it. But I was opening for Mary J. Blige and Brandy. So the most of the men, the most um, of the dudes that were around in those places, it's, they on dates. They, yeah. they bringing their chicks to the show, okay. which I thought was fire. And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I love, love wins. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, they brought the, you know, I wasn't really, but also I was going to places that were mad, like all of the kind of off the beaten track sort of like places, not always main cities. You know what I'm saying? Like I wouldn't do, I wouldn't go to like Miami. I'd probably be in Fort Lauderdale. I or if from, I was going yeah, to New you. Orleans, I would then go to Shreveport. You know what I'm saying? So gotcha. I didn't really have, nah. I oh, wasn't, nah. I, I went from Philly here. to D.C. to Atlanta to Miami oh, to Houston. <laughs> oh, yeah. I I went to, that's a different type of tour. Uh, that's a different caliber. That Houston, Atlanta, Vegas is a different caliber. I, I wasn't it. on that kind of Listen, tour. Listen, and then we, set, we started the tour in November, baby. So I was like, oh, shit. Boston got a game the night before. I was like, oh, let me. Okay, let me stop. But I was. You were living a great life. I was life. tracking. Yeah, you were. I was tracking the life. games and I was on tour. I'm looking I'm, forward I'm, to the Mandy memoir. I'm looking forward to the Mandy memoir. I really am. Um, I am. What about you, Oh, Because you, you was a whole DJ on tour. Yeah. Um, well, the space that I was in was predominantly women. So mm. there was a lot of protection going yeah. on from yeah. management okay. in terms of all the female dancers, right. the right. female DJ, mm. the female artists. Because yeah. I've, I've only toured with female artists. So there's a lot of protection going on. Um, I guess all of us that were on tour were very like, you know, let's go home after this and let's go to the hotel and chat it up and go to bed. Mind our business. We, yeah, let's oh mind God, our business. I'm living a whole and different I life. And I liked, I, I honestly, I so enjoyed, it sounds so boring, but I let's appreciate, I really I'm appreciated like, it. Like, did I, we, I did. Did we get did. a club booked yeah. after this? I don't no. finish my, my, nah, my bottle. See, we, we've done that maybe once or twice. Yeah. I, I, with Sweetie, we probably hit a club once or twice or whatever, but like... Well, yeah, because if she's not getting paid, y'all ain't going. Exactly. That's how that went down. Yeah, so I understood that. But yeah. no, there, were, there were some places where I, w- I would definitely hit an after party. I just never really had work in the cities like that. Honestly, I really... I didn't. And I was definitely not doing the fly out. I was never that girl, so... I, I did realize on tour I'm that a being a mother... <laughs> you are... Shit. <laughs> I mean, yes, I, I, know. Know. I never I guess I know. Know. I There's no judgment. There's cities. no judgment. There's no judgment from the couch, All I right. promise you. All right. What I None. will say, just being on tour, just learning myself as a mother, it wasn't tour life long term. Long, Nothing. it's not for me. No, I'm it's, with you. It's not for me. I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah. Man. The overseas, we did overseas dates and stuff like that. After a couple days, I'm like, I'm, I'm ready to go home. Yeah. I'm ready to go home to the baby. Um, the har- I want to. I do want to go back to the harassment thing because I think it is an important topic. What's um, up? I think for you especially because you are so so big of a personality and friendly and warm. Right. People may mistake that for for a, a level of comfort with you. And I just I just think it's a matter of moving somebody's hand. If they touch you, moving somebody's hand and be like, all right, girl, that's cool. But let's not, you know right. what I'm saying? Because you're not being a bitch about it. Right. You're just really just moving their hand. It's a, it's a physical thing. You're showing them better than you can tell them. But even what's crazy about that, if we... All the videos that make online, Meg the Stallion deals with it a lot too, especially because she twerks on stage. Yeah. You have women slapping her ass when she's on stage and she's had to move them out the way. Yeah. Cardi B has dealt with the same yes. thing. So, I mean, yeah, I, it is a conversation. I just think it's a physical, it's just a physical thing of like somebody touching you. You just, I mean, you don't have to be, a, you don't have to be as aggressive as you might be if it was, a, you know what I'm saying? If, right. Because it's also, I mean, for me, when it's happened, I don't feel as as violated when it's a woman as I would if, if it was a man, which is a, a whole other conversation But you be having a tracksuit on. I be having draws. <laughs> Well, well, yeah, but it's but that's but that's even more right. So the level of this is a good point. I don't be outside in my. I be you know, outside naked. She no. be having a whole rhinestone <laughs> bikini on. I mean, you looked that. good though. Thanks, you did. Sis. I was sis. here. Thanks, I was sis. here for Thanks, all sis. of the work. You literally went into somebody's novel, adult novelty store and cleaned house. Like you took everything off the mannequins. That one. That one. That one. Not off the like, mannequins. Yes, and made it look better than it ever could on a mannequin. Thank you. For the Thank record, you. but Thank I mean, you very much. I think again, I really do think that when it comes to the physical interactions remove their hand the same way that you would with the men just be like you know what this is a little much this is You're a right. little. because yeah. I think women are much more receptive to that to that kind of energy than men are too you know what I'm saying if you say something like that it's not like girl don't touch me it's not that it's not giving that it's giving right. that girl I, I rock with you but let's right. let's you keep right. it cute 
Let's I'm keep real it good cute. for it. Let's keep it cute. Let's keep it cute. 